Uh, morning and uh, welcome to the old farm's garage. Now I've noticed that uh, one or two of my subscribers, uh, uh, Del Boy and uh, uh, NT8, have been explaining the best tools to use for repairs of motorbikes. Now me, being a knitting technician all my life, well most of my life, I'd like to show you, well add a few extra tips for you because uh, you know it was fairly comprehensive what uh, Del Boy did and uh, Tom but you know you, you never stop learning so this is the basic toolkit that I use now obviously the first thing you want is a, a comprehensive set of spanners there you go make sure that uh, you spend a little bit of money on your spanners, look, I've got all different sizes. They fit most things, very good. Obviously, that one's got a little bit of wear, but there's still plenty of life in it. Obviously, you'll need a, a, a couple of good pliers. Uh, pay money for a decent pair because you've got that, which is very handy for pulling things out. And then you've got that one that if you've got something that you want to pull out that's in a very sort of small spot you can use that. Now the most important spanner that you can use is a bed spanner. Now I use this all the while. Um, it does fit most uh, fasteners, I think we call them nuts in the textile trade, but nuts and bolts that will fit. Now if it's a little bit big, which some you'll find some fasteners are. I find that if you wedge a screwdriver really hard in one of the edges, because it's got six edges, you'll notice, you will find that you can get most fasteners stroke nuts out. Okay. Obviously, um, you will need a set of decent screwdrivers, right? So pay a bit of money for a, a decent screw. Now, also, if you've got something that's really hard work, what I would suggest, if, if, it, if it doesn't move, I would suggest one of these. That's for one that doesn't move, but might move in a bit. And that one's for, it will move in, in, in a bit if, if you hit it hard enough. The bigger one, I'm sorry my brother's borrowed that one because it's got a real hard nut to get off. Failing that, if you whack that behind the nut, I think you'll find it uh, will do the job. Okay, moving on, obviously you'll need a set of Allen keys. Make sure that you... I've got the knobless ones because I don't believe uh, an Allen key should have a knob on the end because... Oh, I don't. Anyway, moving on. Uh, this. Now, you've seen this used extensively on my Yamaha. What you do, you mix the two together, and anything that moves, whack this round with it, press it in hard, and after about a day, it won't move, so you'll get no rattles. Anything that wants filling, a bit of this, plastic padding, I always find it's the best thing to use. Now, a few tips. This tip is exclusively to bikers, so don't spread it. What I would suggest you do is if and when you take um, a nut and bolt apart, i.e. a fastener, I would always whack a knob of butter around it. I find that the bolt slips in and out of the nut really well. Okay, so that's my tips for today. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the, the vlog. Um, uh, I think that's about it. I am going to show you a toolbox at another stage, but uh, for now, ride safe.